Today, church, reading again in Hebrews chapter 10, verses 23 through 25, I do want to tell you that I know that day before yesterday or two days ago, whatever day it is, I did read part of these verses to you, and I intentionally stopped prior to reading the main focus for today. So let's just read these verses, and then I'll explain why and what it is that God is challenging us with. So let us hold tightly without wavering to the hope we affirm for God can be trusted to keep his promise. Let us think of ways to motivate one another to acts of love and good works, and let us not neglect our meeting together as some people do, but encourage one another, especially now that the day of his return is drawing near. Obviously, we did not read that 25th verse the other day when we did it, because we were talking about how we can trust God to keep his promises, etc. Today, as I'm looking at this aspect and bringing all this together, the Word of God is challenging us that we make sure that we don't neglect meeting together as the people of God. During COVID, many people began to stay at home and watch church online and do all those things that we felt were necessary at the time, and they were for some people, and totally fine with that, whatever. The point is, and the thing that I feel challenged in my heart to bring to everyone today is that some of us have got into the habit of neglecting the assembly and we've kind of just kind of put church as an option or not doing it anymore and, and we need to gather together. And if you'll notice in that section of scripture there, it says, encourage one another, especially now that the day of his return is drawing near. I'm not telling you that, that Jesus is coming back real soon. Like I know a lot of people think that because of the world events that are happening. And uh, that's not my point. My point is, is that you and I are near every single day of facing Jesus, regardless of his return or our exit. And therefore, I want to encourage you that as we enter into the next Sunday being Palm Sunday, the following week being Easter, what an amazing time for you to reconnect and come back to church. I want to challenge you, wherever you are, wherever part of the country you find yourself today, get back to God's house, meeting with his family, make it a regular part of your life. You need it. We need the family of God. We need the assembly. God's word declares that to us. We're part of a body. We can't function on our own. A lot of people have told me when they find out a pastor, well, I don't need to go to church to be a Christian. And I'm going to tell you, yes, you do. God's word declares that to us because we're part of a body and we can't, we can't survive on our own out there. So I want to encourage you. I want to invite you. If you're in the Tucson area, 9, 15 and 11, we do worship services. Come and join us. If you're somewhere else or if you're working, absolutely join us online. Our services are always available. If you're in another region, find a church that preaches the word of God and go and engage yourself in the body of Christ. May God bless you today. Let's be his church.